Hey, thank you for watching this video. There's more online at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and of course, here's the pie guy. All right, this is first grade, module five, lesson three. And in this lesson, students are going to be moving from those two-dimensional figures, square, rectangle, trapezoid, and we're going to be moving into the three-dimensional figures, um, things like cone and prism and cube and all that sort of stuff. So let's get started. All right, so here are the words that we want our students to be learning. And of course, uh, parents and teachers, I highly recommend, uh, make, it, make it fun. Rather than just bringing pictures of these things, bring in actual examples from real life. So you've got, let's see, we've got this tennis ball. So bring in a tennis ball and say, well, where, which, which figure is this? Well, it's a sphere. And then once you've identified it as a sphere, talk about what are the characteristics? How many faces? How many edges uh, does it have? And of course, what are some other examples of a sphere? And then you grab another figure. In this case, okay, it's a SpongeBob birthday cone. So what is that? Well, is it a well, I kind of gave it away. I said it's a birthday cone, huh? So it's a cone. What makes it a cone? Well, it's got, it's round, but it also has a point. It's also got a face down here. And so that's a cone. And then what's another example? Well, here's, here's a roll of toilet paper. Is that a cube, a prism, or a cylinder? And of course, we want to guide our kiddos to see that it, it's, it's a cylinder. Now, what's a cylinder? Does it have any edges? Well, yeah, it kind of does have an edge right here and here. And at the face, it's got a three faces. It's got a round. There's nothing really straight about this cylinder now, is it? So we talk about the characteristics of these figures. And then bring in dice. You've got a dice. Now, what is that? Is this, what is that dice? Well, it's going to be um, a cube. So we're going to move that die, and of course, I can't move it, so I'm just going to ignore it. <laughs> oh my goodness, I am just struggling. Oh my goodness. And then, oh, there it is. There, we got my cube back, and there's my cube. And then the last figure, a tennis, uh, tissue box. And that tissue box, what makes it a tissue box? I mean, what makes it a rectangular prism? Well, how many faces does it have? How many edges does it have? How does it compare to the cube? And let the students compare and contrast. Talk about those characteristics that make up each of these figures. And then parents and teachers, give your students a time to go on a scavenger hunt. And that's really the beauty of this lesson. Let your students go on a hunt looking for those three-dimensional figures. In fact, you'll find that they're going to find shapes that are not part of these five. And then you get to add new vocabulary and talk about other figures that are out there. It, you know, why limit your students to just these figures? But if they want to go above and beyond, they're welcome to. But these are the figures that we want to really focus on at this point. What are some examples around the classroom or around the house that are cubes, prisms, cylinders, spheres, and cones? And then lastly, once you've identified those things, you've gone on your scavenger hunt, let's talk about them. Let's use vocabulary and practice using our vocabulary to talk about what makes a figure a cube or what makes that figure a cylinder or a sphere, etc. And of course, here are some words that your students can use to um, describe their figures that they found in their scavenger hunt. And that wraps up really a fun one. It's first grade, module five, lesson three. Students are now talking about three-dimensional shapes. Parents and teachers turn it into a game, a scavenger hunt, where they're running around looking for these figures and using some vocabulary, specifically faces and points and edges, uh, to talk about those figures that they find. Hey, by the way, subscribe, please.